How about another bonus video? This time, how about one on animations? Well, if you went through the exploded view lesson, you saw where we could go in and create an exploded view of our skateboard assembly. We've got the ability to right click and animate the collapse or the explode of the skateboard. So that's a good start. Well, what else can we do? Well, if we go down to the very bottom of the feature manager tree, notice there's a tab for motion study one. There's actually an animation wizard that we can use. One option is just to rotate the model, but if our assembly has an exploded view, there's an ex explode or a collapse option. What that will do is come in and let us define the duration and then bring the explode steps into this timeline. If we play this from the beginning, it's very, very similar to what we would get for our regular exploded view. Nothing different there. But maybe we want to adjust the timing. Maybe we want some of the components to move slower or faster. We can do that here. Now, when I have people creating animations manually, what I usually tell them is take the time bar, move it to when you want something to happen, maybe right there at six seconds, and then go make that thing happen. So if we come in and click on the skateboard, maybe we change the color, change the transparency, and then you can see on the timeline where that extra uh, line there appears for the appearance of our skateboard. If we play this from the beginning, you can start seeing actually fading away right from time zero. We never told it really when to start. If we come in and grab this little key from our animation timeline, we can drag it maybe to five seconds. That way, when we hit the play button, it's going to do the explode then at five seconds, then the board starts to fade away. Okay, let's do something else. Maybe let's move it to, to seven seconds and let's take this screw and we can come in and go to the appearance and change that screw to a, a red color. Okay, you can also see here on the appearance of this one, it started at zero We can come in and grab that to, to six seconds. So when we play that from the beginning, there it goes, transparent, and then the screw turns red. Now, what if we want to rotate around while this is all happening? If we scroll up a little bit, there's actually an orientation and camera views. If we right click on that, there's actually an option here to disable the view, view key creation. So that's turned off by default, so it won't actually capture us rotating. So we'll need to, to click on this and, and turn off the disabling of the keys. That makes sense. I'm gonna go to say eight and a half seconds and maybe I'll, I'll rotate around. Again, you see that starting all the way from the, from the beginning. That's fine, maybe let's play that from be the beginning. That way it actually rotates as it's exploding and then goes transparent and then the screw turns red maybe we come in from there and we zoom in on our screw creating one more key so rotating explode board going transparent screw turning red and then maybe we zoom in okay we can get all kinds of creative with this from here we've got the ability to save this out as well. Maybe we want to save that out as an mp4 file just like we could with a regular explode. So animations are pretty fun. Just get creative with it and see what you can do. In the same folder where I've got the ver animation version of the skateboard, I've got another version of the skate park where we can come in and maybe play with an animation here with a, a few more components. There's a whole set of files that are included in this folder that you can play with that won't mess up anything else you've already done. So go have fun with animations and see what you can do.